guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a tech haul despite not all of my items showing up but i have enough and i will film a mini tech haul when i get the rest of my items because i got brand new tech for oliver and let's get started so i bought my tech from the dover saddlery and state line tech so i will show you guys what i got so the first thing that i got is Dover Saddlery um, sport boots in size large and I got white um, only because white is going to be part of Oliver's new tack colors so I got the large and I believe the large is going to fit him because I was looking at his legs the other day and they're pretty thick like he has pretty thick bones he's big bone so I got the size large and I got um, the white the stitching on the inside is kind of wonky, but it's nothing too bad. They weren't super expensive, and these are only the front boots. I didn't get the back boots. I might get the back sport boots eventually. Um, but the material feels so nice on the inside right here. It's so soft. The strap seems sturdy, and this feels like it's easy to clean. So I'm excited to try these out on Oliver, which I'm going to bring them to the barn and tack him up in some of his new tack. I don't know how much these were. I guess I'll put the prices in the description also with links if I can find the links if nothing is sold out or discontinued, but all the stuff should be here. So if you want to know the prices and what I bought, um, the link is in the description below. Next thing that I got from Dover, Dover Saddlery is this fleece, this um, triple E fleece girth co cover. It is um, synthetic, a synthetic fleece because I want Oliver to be more comfortable with my um, girth. And it's not Velcro, it's just hopefully my girth is not too wonky to slide in to the cover. But this is what it feels like. The inside is I don't know it's I forget what kind of material this is but the fleece feels really soft and it only came in white because I've been having a hard time finding um, a fleece girth uh, because every time I look they're always sold out not available now the next thing that I got I ordered from I don't remember if I ordered it from State Line Tech or Dover Saddlery, but it's fine. <laughs> I'll put the link. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it was Dover Saddlery. Um, I was gonna order something else, but I couldn't pass up this saddle pad because I only have three saddle pads now. So it's the Horse Saddle Pad. It's green. It's green with gold and white piping and I just I just love it like it's so thick and it just feels nice to the touch it's very smooth I love the color that's why I got it and it's just it's just amazing and I didn't expect this saddle pad to be this big because normally like my all-purpose saddle pads are like smaller but this all-purpose pad is a lot bigger and no, it's not a dressage pad. I thought it was a dressage pad when it came, but in the description of the item online, it said that it was all-purpose. So it comes with the billet straps and the girth loop. And it has some gold. It says horse, it's a lifestyle. And yep, and it says it's all-purpose and it's just, it's just a really nice saddle pad and I'm excited to use it. The This part, the horse sign is on the left side and then on the other side, it's just all this square print. So yeah, it's, it's very nice and I'm excited to use it. And I'm gonna take very good care of it because I don't want anything to happen to this pad because it's so beautiful. And it's my first expensive saddle pad that I bought so yeah I had to take care of it and my next thing is from two horse tech I have my handy dandy dangerous knife I should use scissors but again I did not 
get the scissors. So I'm going to open this. I'm gonna open the box. Hopefully it's not too much of a hassle. Okay, I'm gonna put my knife down. So the first thing that I have is Oliver's new breastplate. This is an inch and a half thick. And I got this in the 16 hand horse version or horses that are like bigger boned. It's the Biothane, just like my bitless bridle that I had for Paris, the pink bridle. But I got his breastplate in white because white is part of his new tech colors. And I got the, um, I didn't realize that I got the snap. I wanted the um, billet loop. But I guess it kind of comes with the billet loop also. I mean, uh, the girth loop also and the snap. So I guess that's kind of convenient. I'm super excited for him to have a breastplate because his saddle keeps slipping back. And now my next thing from Two Horse Tag is, well, they sent me reins. They are five feet on each side. They have really good reins. Um, and they're also white. And I got the different buckles instead of the ones that I had on Paris um, bridle because it's just easier to unloop if I wanted to ride with different reins. And these are also Biothane. They're really soft. And I like, I really like these. And it's easy to clean also, the dirt doesn't stick around, but I know it's white. So when I do my attack cleaning videos, you guys will see how it holds up. So the next thing, oh, hold on. This is the girth loop, okay. So it came with the girth loop. I'm so happy that it came with a clip and a girth loop. So the next thing I have, which is kind of all oh, smashed up and smushed is if I can figure out okay so this is a war bridle and I just love it it's also in white and it's just perfect Oliver does have a bigger head um because the bridle that I got for Paris doesn't really fit him either and that's the pink one that you see in my videos but it is a bitless bridle side pull and it is just amazing. This goes down their face, this, their ears go through this. And I know it look ridiculous, but this is what it this is what it looks like. And everything that I got is for 16 hands, um, 16 three hands or bigger boned or bigger body horses because the 15 three, 14 three doesn't really fit all horses. So I'm excited to try this out and I have hole punchers just in case I need to add more holes into this. So the next thing I got, um, I ordered this off of State Line Tech. It's actually really heavy. Woo. Okay. So if you don't know what this is already and let me not lose everything. This is a barrier stand, which I'm going to put this back in because it's heavy. It is a barrier stand with the hoof post going here. I'm going to put that back in the box. And also for the hoof padding up here. They said that it was going to be plastic. I wasn't expecting it to actually be hard metal because it says plastic, a plastic farrier stand. But I'm so happy that it comes with the rubber post so that um, the horses don't get irritated by the hard metal. Um, so if you guys can't tell already, I'm going to be doing my own horse's feet. I've been doing a lot of research and new barriers cut 
and trim horses hooves so that is what i'm going to be doing is oliver's own feet um i have a couple of items that go with this on the way so i'm super excited to show you guys that but that would be my mini tech haul and the last item which i'm going to try to show you guys so i have a huge box really big So, let's see if I can open this up without, you know. I'm super excited about this purchase. And my GoPro died, so I couldn't afford this. But this wasn't supposed to be here for a very, very long, long time. And it is my very own western saddle i am super excited to ride in this and to ride western it is just amazing this is the silver royal royal king king series 14 inch western saddle and it is beautiful i'm gonna try to show you guys in a separate video somewhere it's gonna override my voice or something just so you guys can see what it looks like but I am super excited about this and it comes with a girth so this is a 100% leather saddle It's just, it's black, but it comes with like these brown um, girth loops, which I love the two-tone color. And it is just, it is just amazing. Um, I would love to ride in this like ASAP as soon as possible. Excuse the boxes and the mess. This is all from my tech haul, but just look at how gorgeous this is. It's amazing. And this is the tooling, the stirrups. This is the back cinch. This is the cinch. And this is, I believe, I, I think this is synthetic or it's like real fur, but it's just so amazing and then if I turn it over this is the seat it is so beautiful and it's so soft and the tooling the conches the handmade king series it's just beautiful and the conches and the horn it's just beautiful I am super excited to ride in this it's just super amazing so I'm going to hold this up and I do believe, I do believe that this saddle is 44 pounds. So, and it's a trail saddle too, so. It's, it's really nice. Okay, and I almost forgot I was talking about a girth and for my Western saddle and this is what they give you. It's a cord girth. It's white. I didn't know it was going to be white and red, but I'm super excited to try it with my Western saddle. And also, before I forget, I want to try my um, breastplate with my Western saddle to see if it works, but we'll make a video about that. My first time riding my Okay, guys, so that is the end of my tack haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and let me know what you would like me to try out tack-wise. Horse treats, boots, you know, just anything horse-related, clothes, saddle pads, just anything. So let me know what you guys think, and again, everything that I bought will be linked down in the description below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.